uh, for a lot of heroes very casually in the game. So, oh, I, I, I like this last pick. Uh, you do scale a bit better here than this Templar, of course, because you have that Faceless Void, because you have this DP. Even Ench gets a bit scarier into the late game. Execration, would you say here, uh, Winter, are, are they on much of a timer? Would you, would you say they need to finish, you know, before a certain minute? Is, is it kind of, you know, still playing to their power spikes? What are you really feeling here? What's the vibe? Uh, they definitely don't want a, a game to go, like, super late. I think maximum they have to finish the game by, like, say, 40, 40 minutes, like, 30, 40 minutes, ideally, you know, or at least you have to deal a lot of economical damage, you know, to your, to your opponent, like, get couple of wrecks at least you know or have a substantial lead because if their lineup goes into late game against like a fe dp lineup i mean you're not gonna win you know late game and we'll, we'll see them trying something aggressive here they wait a little bit and then they pop a smoke they're trying to they place a ward in the middle to scout something out and now they're trying to go for a first blood here sneaky move they've managed to just barely squeeze between bleed who are Position now above their bounty spawn, although this Ooh. is going to be is this all most what? interesting backstab as Masaros is certainly not going to be expecting this many enemies from this direction. Do they have any catch for him, though? It seems not. That hero is going to be a bit too slippery. Oh, so and she's going to get one rune. Nice. Uh, they're just not, they're not going to get too many runes here. And Paulison, he's just going to be fine now. Uh, with that level one nature's attendance, not much he cares about there. As long as Masaros can make it back to the lane, more or less scot-free, <laughs> this has worked like, out very well for Bleed. Took a big turn around the enemy base. <laughs> yeah, he's going on a bit of a, a tour. But this ward, she got this Observer, which which blocks the easy camp. That's kind of uh -huh. cool. Yeah, this is nice against this tent. Wait, we didn't even mention the Enchantress against this tent. Like the classic good old days, tent against Enchantress in the game. Not in the same lane. I tell you, the, the ones that you have them in the same lane, enchanting and taking over each other's feet. Those are the good times. Good times, he says. Yeah, have you watched games, uh, pro games? Uh, like in oh, yeah. Game. Or, or like Chen and stealing the boars yeah. or whatever. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. There was a uh, Dota 2 short film, you know, for every year for TI, they do them. Uh, and I remember the TI 5 or maybe the TI 6 one where it was like a, a creep just getting enchanted and then being wholly persuaded back and forth and back and forth. Like this, this clowny stuff that I mean, you see. Normally, the Chen has to get a creep and then you have to hide until your cooldown is up. Then, only you send it out to the lane. So, then <laughs> you, judge, you can steal it back immediately. Uh, it's too much to keep track of, honestly. I can't be bothered. <laughs> or at least, you know, if, if Ench is going to steal the creep, just get one. Just, uh, you know, use all the mana, right, in the fog <laughs> and then have her, have her steal the creep. And it's just this useless creep. And then you bring out the real creeps, you know? I see. You've been in this matchup before. Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 all about mind games here a little bit, isn't it? Uh, these days, Ench is a little bit more simple, right? Paulison is just gonna get up close and personal, try and draw some aggro, uh, you know, take a bunch of damage and then heal it all off with the attendance. It's it's not really. It's not and then too kill deep people with your end on the damage over time. The damage over time. That's right. <laughs> it's Enchant. so weird. Everything has damage. Like, oh, Ench. Oh, it is. Look at Ench. Oh my God, he's so <laughs> slow. Oh my God, Ench is so disgusting. Time dilation slow as well. That also does damage. <laughs> I mean, imagine. Last I mean, load. It, the laning pace is just so different nowadays compared to what it was before. A lot of heroes that you can't seem to kill the enemy heroes. But right now, because with the addition of Blood Grenade, there's always a lot more opportunities in, in the lane. I mean, this, Mal this lane should himself. still be fine for the FV since he has an edge in the lane. You know, if he had a weaker support, then maybe he's gonna have a final uh, lane for this lane. Yeah. yeah, I was just looking top where we get the D ward, and the first creep is out already for CML. He's oh, got this creep. The Harpy, Harpy Stormcrafter. Uh, <laughs> just easy damage from range. This thing is pretty bonkers. This is like the best level one creep you can. I mean, yeah, level three. Creep. Yes, I think the ghost still in some matchups may be best, personally speaking. But you know, Bob, a little uh, TP back home, refills the bottle. He'll be back to full HP, and he is here in time to not really miss out on too many creeps. Yeah, Makoto. that's uh, 
just uh, melee against Corona. So I, I, I would think that uh, Hunter should be able to get a little bit more creeps with the type breakers, but nothing too substantial. In bot lane, you see the mana drain in action. As soon as Lion gets level 3, things look at the skull get out of hand. But look at the look at the <laughs> chain lightning. Another, another one. Another one's ready. Chain lightning. How you like it, Shanks? <laughs> it's got to steal mana from the creep, actually. Welcome to Dota 2. <laughs> the lane oh. creeps matter a lot. They do now. Yeah, they... they, they... Ah, <laughs> yeah. Nice! There it is. <laughs> That's all. I, I always do that when I... You know, I was just ahead of this lion meta. I'm telling you, I was always maxing... Mana drain always, you know, whenever I'm playing into a Chan or something, I just steal all the mana from their creeps, and then they're like, "What the hell? What do I do? I can't do anything with these creeps anymore." Useless. Right click. You need to get the ones that have right -click damage. <laughs> Which is so obnoxious. Huh? Just lying, mana drain your lane. Like it's the uh, nightmare of most of the players here when they are playing the laning phase. The the biggest surprise I see so far here, Winter, is that Krish is uh, getting kind of bodied out of this lane. Ten denies is the advantage right now that Masaros holds here on the Death Prophet. Uh, already has the Urn of Shadows online. You can see Masaros, you know, is taking a bit of hurt every now and then whenever the creeps get too close. The Chen creeps, that is. But for the most part, he's kind of just being chilling up here, honestly. This lane, like a dream. this lane is difficult for TA, you know what I mean? No, like, you GP against the TA matchup, but it's not like the, the worst hero to get bullied in the lane. I mean, you can come back with that stack and what more. Like the team is making stack. Oh, I mean, there, there's some, you know. I all made some stacks, but DJ is gonna make another stack. DJ is actually ahead with the stack counter right now. He has two oh, two stacks on both the camps, whereas the lion only has one on each. Seems that way. Yeah. Six minute rune, they're gonna stack. Both uh, supports on the position four are gonna do the same thing stack, control the rune. Seems like Bleed will bring both supports over to the mid lane, though. Yeah, so. they have to. The Chen and the Ench is gonna meet in the middle, finally. Yeah. <laughs> Here they go. Oh, and then the Creep even is uh, doing a good bit of work. The Centaur Conqueror, Paulison. Uh, he's still gonna stack the camp. No, okay, so he aggroed the camp and then blocked it. Doesn't matter. Makoto, he gets the Amplify Damage Rune. That is gonna be into his DJ. bomb, but there's fighting Hello? up top where DJ is swept up by the Torrent. Is slowed to a crawl by this Ghost Frost attack. And Bob picks up first blood six minutes into the game onto the support Rubik. Oh, CML oh, is going to scout oh. the massive stacks here as well as the boat called into the middle lane. There is going to be an Earth Spike now as well. That's an Earth Spike level 2. But the increased damage and stun is not really making the difference there. At least good damage there. Uh, Pango, has, he has a bottle refill because DJ died there. Look at this. CML's, he's CML's t stealing the stack, man. At least he tried. He uh, took one of the wild wings and ended up... Uh, <laughs> Summoning the, 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 what is it? Torrent? Torrent. Is it? No, it, it's a tornado. tornado. Tempest. It's called Tempest. That's what it's called. It's called Tempest? <laughs> yeah, it's called Tempest. It's called the Tempest Double. All right. Don't ask me why I know that, but I just know way too much about the, the neutrals. I can ask, so I can ask you any question about the neutral creeps and you'll be able to answer not their auras i don't know what their auras are called except for the unholy aura on the satyr that's the <laughs> only aura i know unholy and of aura. course this the 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 grievel's greed aura right that one's you know can't miss that one and and the the new the most of the ancient auras i know okay most of the auras i know i'm just i don't know uh, why so you're like backtracking right now yeah i just, yeah. I just know <laughs> just know a little bit too much about the creeps honestly it's just fun okay trivia Trivia time. Next time we go out. Uh, it's yeah, called Nate. Tornado. What the heck is called Tempest then? I must be forgetting. All right, Chris. Taking that for something. He's in trouble. Yep. Blood grenade. They're gonna make a play for him now. Bob's here, but far too late to really change anything, as the boat even is not going to connect onto Masaros, who is just plainly too speedy now. He's got this Exo active. Uh, there is a rolling thunder. Makoto looking for CML. Will be able to bonk Whoops. him down to the low ground. CML looking for a TP out. Is going to be bonked <laughs> up to the high ground again, where Makoto awaits him with the final swashbuckle. That was hilarious. Down you go, up you go. Little escalator there for the Chen. Ends up being an escalator to his own death. Uh, Bob's just going to TP back mid lane. 
Seems like they're gonna have to let this one go. It's, this is not a wagon wave, and Masaro's his Exo's about to time out. But with Makoto helping to clear the wave, they will be able to take down this tier one. Not really much they could do mid. Down bottom, Tino is already up to level six though. Has that chakra ready to go as Jackie's doing his best to keep the creeps aggro to him and stop too much damage from coming through. And he's doing a, actually a really good job of it. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, delaying as much as he can. So it's all going to take as much damage. I mean, they're going to need three heroes to kill the team. Uh. I think the the DP has to come with uh, Siphon charges to kill. Yep, this team is just being uh, annoying to the faces void right you now. He knows the void doesn't have uh, enough damage to kill him with the edge, so he's playing very, very aggressive. So also, a vessel first now completed for Masaros, who is the most farmed hero in the game. Bob hmm. trailing not too far behind with his own phase boots and soon to be blade now. Very nice. Uh, that's um, be his first item. Getting the vessel is here. Good against the TA, good against the Timber. You have a Chen heal as well. You have a Chen heal who is very quickly going to have his own Vlad's aura as well, right? This hero farms oh, a best, ton. The best item. Uh, armor aura, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have mana and regen. <laughs> Lifesteal. I kid you not, when you get a blast, you, you think it's time to fight. No, it's actually time to keep farming your next item. Because it increases your farming speed by a lot with the uh, damage aura. Yep. They're going to give Tino, interestingly, this uh, most of the stack now. Uh, I think that is going to be for his Veil of Discord, as he now has that Helm of the Iron Will online. So it's all about really enabling this timber to fight early. Seems like Bob is more than satisfied with the start. He's gotten 1-0-0, oh, oh, pretty decent experience. Really, the levels, I think, most important on this hero as he's going to look for a quick kill onto DJ. Who did steal that Mana Drain level 1? Only a level 1 Mana Drain Shanks. So he bucks the trend. Three points in this Earth Spike as he is going to be bonked up to the high ground and the impetus shot from Paulison connects from the river. Yep, BP wants to use her, her XL right now. Mm, there's a catapult wave. Should be able to do some damage to this tower right now. Should be a dead tower, honestly. I mean, if Effie comes, they can secure the tower. Uh, Excretion is going to bring five heroes to defend this. Four right now. The lion's going to be alive soon. Alright, he decided not to pop the XO, actually. Huh? Does Did. force the rotations, though. Hmm. Well, that is something. More space created for Jackie. Uh, as, uh, as soon as I say that, Tino is going to TP right back down bottom with his full Veil of Discord. Probably get to push him. 3-3-0 build, or 3-3-1 build on the Timber Cell. So just the one point here in the reactive armor. It doesn't yeah. seem like he was too pressured in the lane, honestly. One point's enough if the lane is like an easy lane, you know? Like <laughs> against FV, you, you know you're not going to have a lot of problems compared to like laning against... Uh, like if you have double range heroes hitting, right clicking you, then... You might want to consider getting an extra point, but if the lane is good, one point is sufficient, you get to max your chain and your whirling death a lot sooner, it's going to make you more deadly in the rotations. Now, your is now it kind of just seems to be more or less of a bit of a, a farming game, as Makoto is eager to get his uh, Diffusal Blade online, Bob about to finish off so it's his... A, uh, it's a timing game, I feel like. Farming game is not exactly the... Okay, uh, that's fair. We're, we're not watching a, a Naga Siren and a PL yeah, getting ready correct. for battle. Uh, okay, fair enough. We are uh, watching well, we're, we're having a few timings hit, is, is my point, right? And, and by that, I mean Blade Mal is about to be delivered. Uh, Vlad is about to be delivered. Mm -hmm. And with the Veils online, it feels like if you're Execration, you are ready for a fight. And for Bleed, uh, Jackie is going to get Axe Mafia. You see Chrono to save himself. Here comes the TP. DP is coming in. Uh, might be too late. Yeah, Finger of Death. He is gone. And with CML's creeps already onto that tier 1 tower, there's not really much they could do either. So instead, it's going to be a trade for the mid lane tier 1 tower as Makoto takes that one down. Just about to finish up his own Diffuser Blade. So, uh, Execration right now have hit their their first timings here. Their first set of timings just uh -huh. slightly earlier. Whereas well, for Bleed, what is uh, their first timing? I think it's pretty much the Diffuser on Pangolin. I think the rest of the calls don't really have uh, like a significant uh, timing on their heroes. Yeah. Well, Masaro's going for the BOTs after. What? One point He's going BOTs? BP. Wow, it's yeah. actually so great this game. I feel like he needs to he needs to get uh, armor, either armor items like the... I was kind of expecting the Shivas for sure. I mean, Shivas is just typical on uh, Death Prophet. Oh, yeah, maybe he feels... No, his team's got a fair amount of I mean, you need, like, you need a way to survive, right? The X mark. 
I feel like that's the main concern. You have to build like tanky items to help you survive the combo. Oh, yeah, of course, there's a telekinesis. And if there wasn't, there was an X. Uh, so they're going to get that easy kill there onto the gen. That was the smoke, though. That was the smoke uh, diffusal reveal. Not much of a reveal there, but uh, it's, you know, now that item's online, you pretty much expected it 14 minutes in. Uh, again, just a, a deviation that I do want to point out because I, I tend to see most pros these days on Lion max the mana drain immediately at 15 minutes, have the money for your shard. He says, hell no, I'm maxing Earth Spike. I'm going to get Blink Dagger. I'm an old fashioned Lion. A lot of players actually started to do this as well. Because you don't. Uh, you don't Radiance get the shot very early. I think the mana drain max is only good with the with the shot if you're having a really good game. I think for the lane mate maximum you have like two points. But the stun is always gonna be useful. I, I think some players they do even keep stun at two points and then they max the they get more points in hex first because it gives you more cast range. It's uh shaman's hex which is now a damage amp, right? If yeah. I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's a Hex anyway. Oh, yeah, that's always a pain for four. Four. You see that four stacks of time dilation slow on him. Nowhere that hero was going. Nice yeah. uh, nice heads up play from Jackie. He knew he didn't need to chrono or anything. Just get in there with the uh, active ability. Yeah, pause on TP's top. They're trying to move uh, move back towards uh, their part of the map. CML is going to get caught out again. How much you can do here? Running into three no. heroes. He got the D ward, you know, he dies for that a little bit, the tiniest amount of space. Uh, while Chris continues farming his Desolator, which is now complete. Uh, I would say as soon as uh, this Blink Dagger is online for TA, we might see her uh, join a fight with an extra. Yeah, combo. it's going to be like one fight. Whoever wins that fight is going to take Roshan, since both teams have lineups that can actually easily just obtain Roshan here. So it's going to be Absolutely. a very, very tricky next couple of minutes. Both teams are going to try to wrestle to get that key pick off into Roshan. Top lane, X mark, pop. Here comes the TP, the travels on DP. Yeah, and Bob stun the once here. Oh, he's got Tidal Wave, but doesn't seem like he's gonna be able to use it. He bought that shard, huh? Bob, that Tidal Wave, it's not gonna do much here. Just kind of wets the boots of Bleed. Yeah, that was so they will be able to kill him. quite a risky play there. Like the end was like curly baiting uh, the Kunkka out, and he kind of committed. I felt like if he X mark and he bought him here to just maybe keep a distance, and see if any heroes are coming in, but unfortunately he committed in, and just no way out for him yep. with the blade mail. So it's uh, quite a costly death there for expiration. I mean, the game is still on a knife's edge right now. Like one, any kill that either team gets is gonna have a high chance of uh, resulting in Roshan going down after this. TP Rish. top, Konka. X mark on the him. Uh, that was a stolen X from DJ. Yeah, have you, you want to even... remind everyone how the interaction is? Chronosphere. Oh, yeah, after there this, it is. after Jax, this, Hex is going to come out, but no support is going to arrive in time to save his life. Chris did TP for this, but uh, he's really just going to be able to farm the wave. And Bleed are going to farm CML another time and get rid of the Chen army, which is always just such a feels bad on this hero, especially in situations like this where. You don't really want to be running around for a minute, recovering creeps and "quote unquote" taking farm from your cores, but it, it, yeah. is, you have to I mean, it is what it is when you lose your creeps. That's true. So you were saying about the X mark. So basically, the second X mark will always remove the first X mark. That's uh, why. Oh, well, this X mark's been removed from DJ because he timed out, but but you know, yes, we'll see if it's ever relevant again. Yeah, the Rubik stealing X mark is uh, quite a huge deal against Kanka. Now you have to be very careful with how you X mark and run out to oh, throw a silly spells. question. Do you think Shanks didn't max mana drain so Rubik didn't steal it? Haha. <laughs> there we go, smoke. Uh, yep. T-Bear's gonna TP in. Silence onto two from Krish. And a second silence here should allow them to pick off Polosin before he can get <gasps> off the heels into the torrent. Down he goes, but Makoto, pretty nice rolling thunder. Missed Bob on the second time, but is gonna be able to pick off Shanks as it's Maseros. He's gonna end up dropping over on the side. Uh, that's a huge kill here. I mean, yeah. that, that for bleed basically means the fight's over. I mean, that's why. Yeah, that's why I was like, so surprised that his build is so greedy. You know, he had travels. What the hell? He has Kaya and travels. They are so greedy. Like he have, uh, like if he wanted to rush BKB, fine, just rush BKB. Or if he had Bill and he armor items, if he lived a little bit longer, maybe they would have been able to take the fight there. But yeah, Timber just blew him up. Yeah, Blink thing. dagger, veil, whirling death. I think he, just, he died in like one Bye. one combo, right? Basically. I barely saw. I was like, "Where's the DP in this fight?" I I couldn't believe it. 
Yeah. I mean, Look at that. That's, that's the combo. Com combo, quote unquote, right? That's why you get if you buy Kaya and Travels. Travels and into Kaya. This is like such a greedy build. Like he did. He's up to die there. Now he understands. Okay, I'm changing my build. I'm buying BKB. <laughs> buying BKB. Yeah, it's just it's a needed item here. He's got very good magic amp here. Good spell amp, I should say. But uh, yeah, it's a costly death. That was a level two exorcism as well. He was probably hoping for that to pay off a bit more. That was probably the first time she used the exo, right? Don't no, remember. second. They used it once uh, top to take the tower. Okay. But, but yeah, I mean, it's been a game where they haven't been able to use a lot of EXO. And maybe that's why I was thinking earlier, that's why Masaros was like, well, maybe this is a game I can go for the BOTs. And, you know, I'm not really needed for a lot of these early pushes. We traded it's, some towers it's just, early. It's just really greedy. To, oh, I, to, I get it. I'm like just, this. you know, just trying to provide a, perhaps a little bit of an explanation there. Yeah. BKB cause... next for Bob, by the way. Yeah, so that kill resulted in them getting the Rosh uh, Roshan. So he has Aegis oh, and yeah. Dagger right now, minute 20. So time to kill some Tormentor. <laughs> Shiva's done as also Li Fichino, right? Lion's so now like you're not just facing the Veil. Pinging the Tormentor. Please, Tia, kill the Tormentor. It's true. He has his Blink Dagger now. So Shanks has his own Blink on the way. So this would be a pretty nice move, honestly. Uh, it's 50-50 between him or CML. So either you're going to get a couple of Ancients or you're going to get triple mana drain which one would you rather have in this world it's crazy but the answer is obviously mana drain not ancients 10 patches ago you would say ancient 10 patches ago okay Why two ten? two patches ago three. yeah before they had uh this change i mean lion right now in the team fights is all about finding the right position to just triple mana drain and win the team fight <laughs> I mean, sure, you can sometimes start the fight with a Hex and Sun, but you just want to have a high ground. Imagine a lion standing on the the Drow uh, Glacier and not trading everybody. <laughs> I mean, it is actually kind of a, a ridiculous thing, but you just do so much damage. It's not even just the damage, you know, like taking away mana from heroes like uh, Faces Void, Pango. It's actually pretty game winning in the team fights. I, look, I agree. And it's not like you do unlimited damage because eventually heroes like the, uh, like the ones you mentioned do run out of mana. But it's a 360 damage per second channel. That's that's beating out Fiend's Grit. By and, far. And don't forget that you can bat three your teammate. <laughs> that's true. You're a little gas station, aren't you? Not as great as Pugna, but halfway there. <laughs> halfway there. But it is cheaper, you know? Is it cheaper than Pugna? Oh, yeah, I don't cause... know if it's cheaper. I mean, I guess, right? Because it's... I mean, I don't know. I don't think it matters much. It's still good. Go. You're more of a mana battery, right? Because before the, before you can get any mana, you've got to top them up with the HP. But, you know, whatever. It's still really good. And uh, well, we'll see. It doesn't seem like Chris really uh, wants to go for a tormentor quite yet. Wants to push out this top wave a little bit more. Down bottom is where Tino is currently kind of. Uh, in a little bit of a run. Ooh, good decision to TP out where he stands. There's a Rubik ready to cut him off. Rubik with a blink as well here for DJ. Yeah, they're going to also have BKB done on Jackie. On the places right. It's going to be a huge item. Right now, it's all about just waste, wasting the time of the Aegis. Uh, trying to just wait it out before they take the next uh, big engagement. But the game is still very, very close. Uh, anyone can just uh, wrestle over control on the game. With one mistake, one bad team fight, you're going to lose this control. This could be it, Makoto. Oh, breaking vision. There's the Chakram. He has roll up. They don't want to chase any further. Yeah, I mean, he has roll up. It should, it should be fine. He has roll up and cast your ulti after that. I mean, they're just trying to... Hornstorm is about to be finished is also, by the way, for Bob. I think he decided, you know what? I can... I need a BKB. I'll just go straight into my eggs. Yeah, it's so timing, like I told you about. Getting every hero sync with the TA's blink, that's all Dragon Lance timing with BKB. And then the team is going to have Shivas. Your Kanka is going to have Aglims. Your Lions have blink. Chen has all the aura. So, I mean, Excretion is extremely strong right now. Very, very strong. Here goes the roll up. Right. Koto, yep, he's going to roll up into that rolling Shanks, thunder. no mana draining. Inhibit now on the Shanks, who doesn't have much of a target here to mana drain, but the lift is going to be out of range, and the reinforcements are here. X marks the spot into the rolling thunder. Perfectly timed as soon as it ends. Stolen boat here. It's not going to change much of anything, unfortunately, as Masaros. 
Uh, it's not really a situation where he wants to use the Exo either. He's dead, I think. May have no choice, though. He might just be dead, honestly. Tidal Wave out of the Tier 2 Tower into the hands of Krish, who picks up his second kill of the engagement. Yeah, this is really bad. He was very close to his BKB. I mean, right now, this is going from back to worse for Bleed. He's just bleeding out too many kills. Uh, Void has BKB, but he can't do much alone, you know? The Void needs the Death Offer to be able to stand in the fights and use Exo and do damage into the Chronosphere, but that's just not gonna happen. Like, I feel like even if, say, the DPS BKB, right, he's still gonna die to the the TS physical damage with the Chen, the Chen creeps and the auras. I mean, he's actually very, very weak right now without, uh, even with BKB, you, you still need to build armor items. I mean, her build is definitely just coming back to, to haunt her. And, and BKB so close to you, so far, right? A thousand gold away. Mm -hmm. that is going to be pretty hard to farm at this point when you have yeah. a Faceless Void and a Pango just absorbing all the visible farm on the map. You've got to go get the Dangerous farm, and without BKB, sometimes it's going to cost you your life. I mean, they're, they're just going to have to maybe try to play some defensive wards. Uh, I mean, they have very aggressive wards right now. If you look at Bleed's vision, they have like uh, three very deep wards on enemy territory. It's going to help them... Uh, Figure out where they can farm safely, at least. I mean, it's pretty nice, uh, the what, like, uh, one line across the enemy base, I mean, enemy jungle. Radiant are scanning. Shoot has spot. to buy his shard, a bit unlucky there. Line? Yeah, CML got it from the Tormentor. Do you think if you can actually choose who gets the shard, would it break the game? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Probably. Because uh, I, I think the issue is not all shards are created equal, unfortunately. There are some that are just far better than others. Like this Lion Shard compared to, I don't know, Flamethrower. I never see anyone build Flamethrower anymore. Eventually you pick it up, but like, you know, this Timber Shard is, you know, not really much to write home about. Uh, he's probably got the, I don't know, is, is his Shard worse than Chen's? Chen's can be pretty good. Chen's nice. Chen's uh, Shard. It's ancient creeps, you know. You got the, you got the granite to push. You have the HP <laughs> aura, right? I I love getting the uh, time dilation creep though. The, oh, the okay. aura from on the ice shamans that gives you, I think, twelve percent. It depends uh, on the level, right? That's four levels. First level. Yeah, but I think when you enchant them, you give them a bonus level, don't you? Oh really? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Additionally, levels up. Oh the, yeah. Okay. One level. See, I'm Chen player. Come on. Man. <laughs> okay. Don't you know? <laughs> Alright, X mark, pull back. Uh, tower takes around half damage. It's a pretty good amount of damage here. X mark again. Rubik needs to steal <laughs> X mark. Yeah, but all. Well, Bob actually. Oh, okay, nice. pretty nice pull out with the tidal wave. And the silence also does not connect onto anything. Right, is there a, a BKB? There is a BKB now for Masaros. Uh, and an Ag Scepter for Makoto. These are two heroes without buyback, and let's make it three, why not? Because there's a full Mjolnir now for Jackie. He's just shy of that 20 chrono attack talent, uh, however. So, you know, he's not really the be-all, end-all yet. But this could be an opening now. Execration, oh, so close there. Blinking forward by DJ, looking for that opportunistic steal on the X mark at the spot. But, but Bleed Esports so close to a turning point here, especially as Execration no longer with an Aegis. Might be a bit more on the Wow, I say they're a bit more on the back foot, but look how big Tino is. He's got his own BKB and the Shivas. He's, he's a large lad. And Krish continues to farm very effectively now as he is going to have a casual Crystallis ready to go. Yep, fight's brewing right now. Oh, Torrent. yeah, good catch there. Torrent, Tidal Wave. He's trying Masters. to bait, really he's trying to to bait out. Yeah, trying to bait out his BKB. A nice try there by Bok. Uh, Masaros, very, very calm. Ancient Thunderhide. I think the only big ancient creep that doesn't have an aura is Ancient Thunderhide. This but lad. this one has the most damage, right? With, because of the spell, the slam. Slam's a lot of damage, but maybe if you stand in Fireball, it's more damage. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's right. The Fireball eventually over the full duration. Yeah, does over more the damage. full duration. I'm sure that has to be more. I'm not sure how much the Ice Bomb does either on the large uh, Ice Shaman creep. But that's pretty good because you can push towers with it. So, I don't know. I, I think it depends. I think, generally speaking, this one's really good. And, you know, attack speed is always going to be something that your uh, your carries want, right? Where is he? Where is he sent it? Push him. Oh, there. He was pushing top. Yeah, trying to deal with uh, the split push. 
Roshan. It's Christian, they're smoking. They're trying to connect over to the Rosh. It's gonna be huge. It should be the game deciding fight here. Both teams are trying to buy for high ground position. A big chrono could actually end the team fight for excursion. They have to be very, very spread out. Could not be up for 45 oh, seconds. Oh, somebody's TPing. Timber's TPing. You know, though, I mean, he is not an easy kill. And yes, you very well could yes, be bait. Blinks out right away. He's got a shielder in for an additional 1300 extra HP as the blink. Oh, sorry. Uh, the Observer Ward is going to Paulus in. He's immediately dead. Does have buyback. The Exo is already out here, and Roche has not spawned. He's going to be back in 20 seconds, so he'll only be here top for they just need what? to wait for the Exo to run out. I mean, that's what I was going to say. It's already half duration. Roshan, yeah, he's not going to be home, much to the uh, dismay of Execration, who are just TPing away. They just have to abandon this, and this is going to be second Rosh easily uh, going to the side of uh, Execration. Yeah, very, very unfortunate for Bleed there. I think a bit, uh, a bit too hasty with uh, the Exo there. Needed to wait for somebody to jump, uh, either the Rubik or the Void to jump in with their spells before he commits the Exo. And right now, Excretion will be in firm control of this game with the Roshan uh, being claimed once again by, by the Dyer team. So he gets the... Who gets the cheese? I guess Timber? Yeah, Timber and TA get, are going to get the Aegis and cheese respectively. They're going to have uh, aura items on mostly on the Chen. The Mech and the Blad's done with the Lotus. And he's going to go for a Holy Locket next. So this item is something that I didn't see in a, a very long time. Ah. I wonder why that is. He is going for a very regen heavy build. I think the mech is, is fairly normal, but uh, that lifesteal is really interesting. I believe Holy Locket only restores based on amount healed. So it doesn't it doesn't amplify all sources of regen, I believe. Oh, really? I thought he amp amps everything. It all right. amplifies heals you provide by 30%, but isn't Vlad's a lifesteal? Oh, lifesteal like is different, yeah. I think lifesteal yeah. is different. So obviously it works on Hand of God and then the, any other heals the that you provide. Yeah, the mech. Lots of heals here. It's also interesting what Creepsy's decided to grab. He's holding on to the Centaur Courser, although it is about to die. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he meant to hold on to it, but just like basically a casual pipe aura on that bad boy. Uh, not the active, of course. You don't get that barrier, but I do wonder if he's going to look to grab anything else. He's actually only found these ancient thunder hides on the map, which is kind of funny. I haven't been able to find much of else. I mean, right now, the TA has found herself a DD with Daedalus there. Ooh, I mean, Amplify Damage with Daedalus, so they're definitely looking to fight here. I mean, Masaras doesn't have his Shivas yet. It's going to be important for him to get armor and reduce the healing from the Chen with the Shivas and the Vessel. They're trying yeah. to hold on their high ground here, right? Sensible thing to do. Face this wall is nearby. You can drop a Chrono if the enemy runs up the high ground. No outer towers. They still hold this outpost. They can buy back Tiki here. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, that's a cheeky little play, isn't it, from Tino? Given vision and safely getting himself out with a timber chain. Krish might just go on in. I X mark is going to be friendly. Aegis. I'll let them know that there's probably some vision up here as they do get through those uh, refraction charges thank thanks to the Stolen Chakram that DJ is holding on to. Also has a gem in his inventory on this Rubik. Yeah, uh, I feel like they should that. just force the high ground. Whenever your opponents, uh, they are holding up a high ground area like this and they are waiting for you to go up. I feel like if you are not confident enough to run up, you have to try to force them back towards the base. And then when they come back to the base, you then decide whether you want to continue pushing or you reclaim the high ground that they just took. Right. How dangerous is it, do you think, when you're crossing these these areas in between the lanes, like as dire size, right? I think they have uh, Aegis right now. I feel like they should be comfortable doing whatever they want to, you know. I think they are playing a, li a little bit too conservatively right now with the lead uh, they have. And they just they have to also remember it's a faceless void DP lineup, you know. They have a lead now, but it doesn't mean it's going to be there forever. X mark out straight away, not wanting to risk anything. They did get them out of the high ground already, and you can yeah. see that line drawn on the map by Masters. Sorry, make that by Tino. He wants to get right back into that high ground. Yep, get you the are. D wards. Uh, they have to get a use so, so that <laughs> the Kanka can't abuse the X mark like this, you know. Somebody has to buy a use. Yeah, Rubik's already queuing up uh, and use. You know. They can't just let uh, Excretion X mark the TA run up, hit your tower a couple of times, and pull him back and then. Keep repeating it until your base goes down. Egg is one and one minute and forty seconds remaining. I mean, let's see if they can still try to pressure the high ground. They definitely don't want to waste this. Nope. It's the 
is going to be tricky, though. And with Bleed feeling so strong, now they've got this 20 talent on Void, like you said. Manta style, BKB, Mayonli, like, that's enough with good Corona, with good spell casting to, to be able to really turn this. Maybe this is an opportunity. Nope, no, it's not, unfortunately. No chance to contest that. And Natino's got his flamethrower. Flame I think there were only... I think he was the last one, actually. Everyone else has their shard already. He was the only viable target on the team. They're all sharded up. Paulison, though. Is that a full Ag Scepter I spot on this Enchantress? It is Little Friends. That's yeah, it's a counter to the chain creeps. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, Krish. Right. Uh, that's like <laughs> a little bit uh, crazy, but then there's nothing to stop the X-Mount, right? So <laughs> he can basically do whatever he wants. Okay, it's, it, oh, was flame it always troll. a Flame troll. Flame troll. I don't think this was always a root, wasn't it? Root's an enemy unit. Uh, and, and all creeps ally enemy in neutral within a radius gain bonus attack speed for six seconds. Fascinating. Fascinating. Okay, root duration per unit. That's interesting. I wonder if you uh, can really just. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see. Oh, but DJ will make that Lion. jump on it. Oh, oh no. blink out of time though, Masaros. Oh no. Oh, quite find him and that is the exo utilized the great torrents as well to slow this down they're so desperate they're looking for a fight now here at bleed but they're just running under enemy vision under enemy traps and now up to enemy held high ground this seems really risky but they're gonna go oh, for nice it. silence nice silence out from monstros but it just forces him to bkb and back out as tino looking to force the bkb of jackie that'll make finding a oh, chrono time for to fight more difficult they got an X mount. TA the trap. They're still underneath this ward. This is so risky for Bleed. They're really poking, prodding, trying to Ruby find the angle as Tino Expel. just able to try and jump and nuke down Paulosin, oh, who nearly drops there, actually. Thanks for the Vessel time dilation as well. Really starting to wreck him as they do jump forward. Makoto with his own Shiva is going for the Rolling Thunder. They have Vision now in the lane where they want to try and find this fight. They force the BKB of Bob. They sell the BKB on the Timber Saw. He feels like he doesn't have to use it, and he's right. He had the backing of the Hand of God, which is now going to be uh, used. Uh, careful here. Nice roll up to ignore the X mark the spot. And actually now Bob without a BKB. He could be in for some trouble. They're trying to buff him up a little bit more heal. Lead. The Torrent Storm oh, into the Chronosphere now. It's a good one, but do they have enough? Oh, no! Hex. The BKB was already used from Jackie, and the Hex no mana. the Chronosphere with the He's out of mana. He is, doesn't have any mana. He can't time walk out. Oh, he only has the Ogre Seal Totem into the smoke, which does get him back safely, but with the Tino, he's running riot in your base. Up into the high ground, Makoto eats the finger of death and finally is killed off by Krish. Oh, bleed. They go searching, looking for a fight, poking and prodding, and are just barely outlasted. They only managed to get Bob throughout that and lose two cores themselves. Yeah, and I also felt like uh, there was like a couple of moments where maybe he could have tried to chrono the Timber and the Conquer, but he decided not to. He just wanted to chrono the TA, but ended up didn't, having, didn't have the BKB to kill the TA. He got hexed by the Lion after that, and the fight was just over, you know? he. Just feel like maybe they needed to synergize uh, their spells together. Whenever the Pango or the DP is going, he needs to use his Chrono to support them and make sure that they get the kill that they are chasing, chasing on. You know, now he's just a little bit too tunnel vision and trying to Chrono the TA too much. You know? I think the next fight uh, it's going to be very crucial that he they just managed to use all their spells on one one hero. I think even if they kill the Timber or the Kunkka, it'll be actually pretty good. Because if you think about the team fights, if the Void corners the the other heroes, let's say he kills the Timber or the Lion, and the TA is left for last, I mean, he, she won't be able to do anything on, on her own, you know, if you kill all her teammates first. Oh, the Time Warp Aura, it's here. Sorry, I just got excited seeing this guy. 14% CDR. So who does that benefit the most? Uh, I guess Lion, Lion and TA? Lion, TA, I think this Kunkka, honestly. Oh, here we go. Lion, he's oh, lifted this, up. This, yeah, yeah, this is a jump. This is great. Both supports being killed off here from the side of Execration. Gives them a pretty good opening now. <laughs> they were just doing what you were doing, reading the spells and everything. They were reading spells. Oh, enjoying their cool. moment. Oh, this spell. All right. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like, uh, cool. dead. <laughs> oh, whoops. You know, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's... Uh, Almost gives you permanent uptime on, on mana drain. I don't know how valuable <laughs> that is. <laughs> mana drain. 
<laughs> Look, I mean, come on, that's a good spell, right? <laughs> well, the the issue is like she can't, like, the lion can't stand in a fight to drain, if the DP is right clicking her, uh, him with the exo. Yep, that's true. There's too much damage there. Lane. Looks like they were maybe trying to find a pick off. This is getting a little bit more troublesome though. That fight not going too swimmingly for the side of bleed, it has to be said, but you know, the fact that they survive without taking any high ground damage here basically during that Aegis. I mean these bot tier three maybe took a scratch, but as as far as structures go, everything is still oh, standing. Scouted, they scouted Rosh with the creep. Oh it's a fast one. Oh no. Extra have a minute creation. To finish it. They wanna push high ground bot? Oh, going on. No. They have this outpost, but now it's going to be scouted uh, by the Centaur, uh, sorry, the, the Seder Tormentor. And this Roche, he's going to go down too quickly. He also is going to drop himself an Axe Blessing. Now, that is an interesting one this game. Who's going to get it? Ruby? Jackie? Ruby? Jackie? Me carry. Uh, I, uh, I guess so. Me carry. It's me me take egg, uh, Agonies, me take Shard, me take Refresher. Yeah, me take there's uh, this me take oh no except banner you can have the banner <laughs> you can have the banner uh, uh, micro i don't do that shit get that out of here <laughs> it's so funny you know all the covers so i don't want this you know <laughs> they uh, 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 chucks it into my inventory <laughs> <laughs> do banner stack uh, i'm not sure though. i haven't uh, lived long enough to have two banners uh, on a team i don't know i've ever seen can you imagine the super Oh, here we go. Oh, jump that's in. a jump in. The stun onto two. They actually also no, get Masaros, who's going to be pulled back by the save of DJ. That could have been so much worse as Shanks got a little lucky there, stunning through the Enchantress. Yeah, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. I mean, for now, they still keep the Aegis intact, so still fine. Just we need to wait for the Ench to respawn. It's a long death. Uh, I was a die die back death there, so it's gonna they are gonna have to wait for another minute before the end is alive. I mean, it's still very very tense. You could tell like even with this 10k lead and excretion, but uh, the team fight of uh, bleed right now with the chrono and the exo is gonna be ages now, yeah. right? They have more I mean, like, than if, damage. if there's Aegis on Execration, I think I think we have a different story here, right? I, I think Execration are a lot more confident going high ground. What's, yeah, for what's sure. the best thing to to counter? You know, one. Uh, one Chronosphere, it's two lives, right? Uh, the issue is, after this, uh, Jackie probably has enough for the Refresher. It's a pretty expensive item, but you know he still has a lot of time to farm this. Another three minutes, basically. And then, even if you do get the next Aegis, which is going to be at like 48 minutes, are you going to be able to, you know, actually push? Because then you're looking at the threat of double Chrono and... You still have your TA, who I don't know if she didn't really use Daedalus on these enemies outside of that one fight. It's tricky. I'm just been hitting buildings for the most part. I, they have to just try to make sure that uh, they don't get caught by the Kronos on their course, you know. Like, like one hero, I think it's fine. Timber wants to run in and tank the Kronos. Breaks the smoke. Uh, he has jammed though. He's fast. Oh, they just missed there on the swashbuckle. He's speedy. A little bit too speedy here, it would seem. Oh, here we go. Oh, Hex! Underneath they the got him! Execration, trying to fight into this one. Oh, the he's dead. Like, They actually get him. First life. Definitely going to be the first life. Spell Swollen there is going to be Chakram. We have to be careful here as Masaru is going in deep now. Makoto managing to catch up to the Chen, who does get the Hand of God off. The self heals. It's just not going to be enough, though, with Masaros right clicking him down. Taking He's a looking look for now, Chrono. As we see Jackie continue the chase, looking for Shanks. Doesn't need to commit Chrono for that. In fact, Masaros picks up a second kill there and is going to be unable to stop the TP away uh, from Tino and Chris. The Rex. The catapults are taking the Rex. DPS catapults are taking the Rex. Yeah, big wave pushing. <laughs> Was this with the banner? No, I don't think. No, of course they have the banner. Have they placed the banner? I don't see it anywhere. No, they don't have the banner. I don't think they have the banner. It's the next Roshan, the third Rosh. No, okay. Right, excavation here. Decides to smoke, no DPLP. Yeah, and, and maybe they're, they're in snow BKBs. The Scythe of Vice catching Makoto off guard, but DJ with the lift onto two. No, Krish activates the BKB. Oh, the we'll be able to murder Makoto. DJ is down, and Paulison, you better believe it. You are next. TP out, attempted. Yeah, Yule Scepter out from Tino to interrupt, and that is going to be three dead here. Look at these sproinks, man. He's just dodging these projectiles. Eventually is going to be killed here as Krish picks up three with the AD rune. 
Yeah, this is a really, really big opening. They still have Chrono, but uh, did no DPLT. Two heroes have buyback, Rubik and Pango. Probably gonna have got to. got that one Chrono. Yeah, probably gonna have to use the the buybacks uh, very soon. Maybe Rubik doesn't have the buyback, but Pango might have the buyback to defend. Depends on how many racks they decide to give. Maybe they can give one lane and save the buyback. And, and you let me know if this little friend is doing anything in these fights, okay? I haven't really been able to see it do anything, but you know, I, I could be wrong. Alright, Timber Chain stolen again. Obviously looking for Chakra. Don't know if DJ really wanted to Timber Chain in like that. He's just like <laughs> poking and prodding. There's going to be the Chrono. It's solo on the curse. BKB active the Hex, though. On to Masaros as he kills. The, oh my goodness, it's just too much. Chris, he's so tanky. He is so tanky, and he's got these Refraction Instances talent at 25 now, and that's your Chrono Blowed basically for nothing now. Masaros just being right-clicked down as Jackie jumping back on in with the Ag Scepter, hoping to at least do some chip damage now with the Shard, but yeah, they're just going to be off the high ground now, and for Bleed, not much more they really could have done there. Unfortunately for them, an ineffective base defense as they will end up losing the mid, uh, the mid lane of Rack. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, he can't kill anything alone. He needs to use the corner in tandem with the DP. Like the DP and the rest of the team has to be able to throw spells into the corner to do damage. It's just how it is right now. Like if he just drops a corner and he's trying to run in with his level 20 talent, attack speed, it's not going to be enough. I mean, once the Chen has the, the Windmaker, then good luck, you know. <laughs> How close is he? Is he actually almost there? Nah, no, not yet, not really. but he's, he's poking. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Maybe five minutes, four, five minutes. Well, in the meantime, Bleed at least are gonna be able to secure themselves another uh, shard. This one onto Masaros. Not bad, this one, especially if you can get a Fear. Yeah, it's nice. Increases the charges, the charges by one. And yes, the A stick cap, very good uh, neutral item on DP as well. Anything that allows you to survive in the team fights. I mean, I feel like here they, they need to take a stand. Maybe they have to smoke and try to sweep around. They can't just let the the TA just right click the rack sweep the X map and just keep poking and repeating. They need to actually jump them. And they're gonna have, gonna have to find a target somewhere. It's just been so troublesome for them, really, to, to find anything. 25 talent now for the Faceless Void. He has the backtrack talents, of course. Maybe if there was a game for the Chronos Free AoE, do, do you think this is uh, one of those games? If you have uh, Invoker, I think. Ah, uh, okay. I think mean, that, that is probably the only scenario I feel like you would get the AoE. You really prioritize it, right? Yeah. I think apart yeah, from that scenario, have... I don't feel like there's any other scenarios I would actually choose the AoE over backtrack. Tino you know, has a second chakra. It's the other level 25, the third actually, because of course we do have the TA refraction instances ready and learned. We get there on uh, CML. Hand of God uh, applies a strong dispel is pretty bonkers. Just a, a five-man hard dispel is... You know, that's something right there. Oh, you Tino. Know, under vision. They're going to try and make the jump, actually, and they proc the A on this here of Shanks. Great job on the science prevents him from doing anything as Tino forced to BKB and book it. So he will be able to make it out alive. That's okay for them. Only losing a support. He has no buyback, though, but it probably wouldn't. Refresher's ready, by the way, for Jackie as he is searching, looking more on the prowl here with the ninja gear. Roshan could respawn as soon as in four seconds as the smoke does break. Jackie, okay, giving pause here, doing a bit of micering now on the illusions as he is heading towards the oh, location no, Tino. now. Oh, the Chrono instantly wasting no time getting the illusion in there as well to do a bit more damage. Masaros and Makoto both joining now. They should have a very easy kill here on to Tino. Let's see if he can do much at all. Oh, no, the little friends. Oh, it did something. Paulison got the kill. <laughs> That was what you are look, you are looking the whole yeah, team man. fight. He, he got rooted by the little friends. <laughs> so one corner down, one core kill. Let's see if they can actually get another. Bot lane needs to be defended. I have to send someone back there. I guess yeah, Masaros. Send, send the inch back. You know what you do is you little friends uh, uh -huh. on any of the creeps. You little friends, I guess probably the, the dragon. 
uh -huh. then all the creeps will kill it. I didn't know. It's it's Winter's Curse, but Creep Edition. I thought it was only on heroes like Winter's Curse, because you cannot cast Winter's Curse. I'm pretty sure you can't cast Winter's Curse on non-hero units, can you? I can't say I've... I, think I've ever, I know for Doom you can. I've seen that one plenty of times. I don't know. Not in this game, anyway. Christian Bob looking for a quick pickoff here onto Masaros. It'll be difficult. He's got the Sacetic Scap. He's got the Shivas. BKB. Not an easy kill, really. As Roche respawning in four seconds. Jackie is going to be here waiting for him. Or nearby and waiting for him. I imagine he's going to turn around right as soon as they see him. Indeed. Jeez, Aegis, and a second Axe Blessing. Last time it went to Jackie. Hollison has his. I think everyone basically but the DP and DJ has an Axe. So I would give it to the son of Axe here, personally. We shall see. Execration. They are going to be scouted on their way over to try and contest this. Of course, they are far too late. Perhaps they can make a play. No, lead making a very safe call. They're going to TP everyone out all the way back home and look to find a cleaner engagement so we will reset yet again winter as we head into the 50th minute of play now two refreshers in the game one on kunko one on the faceless void who is holding his second ages of the game so two chronos ready to go in eight seconds the oh they did give it to the death prophet really oh, my man dj Ruby? does not get the eggs blessing can't believe it man s s m h free dj I mean, it feels like the Ruby can actually do so much with the X more than the DP. I DT. agree. I, I personally agree, but here we go. We've got the X on one. Oh, another Hex here onto Jackie. He does have yes, a Aegis. Second Hex now into the boat, into the Mana Drain, into Chris just pumping in the damage. Chris forced to be giving on the first life because of Makoto's Rolling Thunder. As there goes the Aeon Disc now of Shanks, but enough space has been created here. Just that Jackie free to pop the BKB and look for a Chrono on his second life, but he only finds himself a Lion. Oh my god, the Wind Waker is done for CM Alley. He actually is down into the low ground here, but doesn't really stand a chance to escape now. Least of all because of the exorcism uh, shard. They also get Tino? They got Tino! I was distracted, honestly, by the exile. I can't lie. Tino ends up dying. That's a huge loss. As Chris, he's even too scared to grab this, this rune. Maybe for good reason. He doesn't have a BKB for 50 seconds. Does he not see Masaros here? Just trying to push these waves out a bit more. The Chen Creeps as well will be pursued, but ultimately not much is going to happen here. He's, he's hunting down the TA with the Void. He refresh. So he has a second Chrono. Yeah, and he does. Won't be able to find it too easy. Oh, the use? Did he actually get it? Oh, no. not, not It's pretty time. close. Also, still under the high ground. He's going to apply a fear here in just a second. So the effective lockdown continues. Is this going to really be a kill? Bob forced to BKB. It's going to be the self torrent with the Bloodstone active now. So pretty good life steal. But Masaros finally feels like he's online. Diving into the TA? base. They got the TA yeah. bot. Down bottom. Krish. Krish trying to rat. Is going to be killed as Jackie Time walks in and finds the bashes. The Chen creeps as well. Managing to get at least through some of those racks. But the damage is going to be here. Up onto the high ground where Masaros just has so many Exo Spirits out. Not from this ability, but just from the Ag's blessing. Bob looking to buy a little bit more time, has to sight the vice, just letting loose now uh, with the Torrent Storm as DJ does end up sealing himself a ghost ship. Masteros, oh, the blink away just in time as the buyback from Krish is forced out. The slow, not nearly enough as Masteros is just simply too speedy. And Jackie has returned, did not need Chronosphere on that previous kill down bottom for Krish. So things are about to get scary here, Winter. Yeah, late game faces Zoid. Refresher. <laughs> It's always going to be very, very scary uh, for you. I mean, this is why I said if their lineup doesn't really finish the game, like 40 minutes, then they're going to run into a lot of uh, faces void problems. Indeed. I mean, the faces void problems are here 52 minutes in, right? It's uh, hard, to, hard to say that we're not in the late game. Just taking a peek, yeah, at his net worth, about, about to break 40k. Uh, even even Masaros has been redeemed at this stage, right? Regardless of the build, at this point, late enough, having gotten the opportunity to farm, he is massive. He's very tanky. 4,000 HP here is ridiculous. 50 seconds left until Jackie has a second Aegis. They've killed him once, so I'm sure he's not too eager to jump up to the high ground, but this time, the buyback situation for Execration is lackluster. Uh, their cores, without them being just TA, actually, 
Uh, but still, that makes for a very scary proposition when she is still the majority of the damage alongside the Timber Saw. They have to get these initiations right. Have to be able to get these pickoffs. Bleed still respecting the fact, even with the buyback, even with two chronos here shortly, still continuing to you know, play their cards close to their chest. A few more 25 talents. The Exo Spirits taken uh, for the DP and the Rolling Thunder cooldown taken as well for the Pangolier. Uh, and that's the that's the only one. Uh, there's two new ones after the fight that Bleed win. Bob's pretty close to his. I, mean, I don't know if the fleet's going to change much in this kind of a game, but who knows? Maybe some uh, <laughs> some morale, I guess, as, as the ghost ships continue to roll in. Here we go, though. Exorcism's going to be out. Uh, second Chrono is ready to go, so be on the lookout for that as DJ uh, with the telekinesis save onto Masaros, who was Hex the once. Bob, forced to use his Torrent Storm once, uh, is going to get the DKB out from Masaros. That's something as they continue to burn the duration of this Exorcism. They've only lost a Tier 3 tower compared to, of course, the full lane of Barracks, and you can start to see some of these uh, creeps trying to sneak around the map doing more. Seems like Bleed will be forced back for now. We are in for a long game here, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, they're not even rushing. Uh, they have Octarine cost, so the DP Exo doesn't really go for its full duration. You don't have to play it too risky. Just poke the high ground, get what you can, get back with your spells and go again. No risk. Just very disciplined. You don't want to give your opponents any way back into the game by making a, an overextension. Huh? Especially in the games that go this long, this late here in the first round. Chris just activated his BKB. Huh? <laughs> I believe he may have been spooked by a Jackie illusion. I can't be sure, though. I cannot be sure. It could have just been a mistake, you know, speaking frankly. I'm, I didn't see... He did blink back in BKB. Yeah, the classic trying if your BKB works uh, strategy. Uh, just testing it, right? Just testing it. I wonder if my hotkey is broken, you know? Let's just try... Is my keyboard on. working? Hold oh, on. Let's just spam the hotkey a little bit. I don't know. I, I bought this from, from the side shop. It was a discounted BKB. What, uh, Chinese what New Year discount? <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the it was uh it was eight 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 the gold instead. You know? <laughs> no, uh, there's like Christmas discount. He bought it last month. Right, and it was just sitting on the rack. Yeah, he's waiting for the right moment, the right time, the right game to use it. Mm. Well, he used it now, and he's gonna have it uh, on cooldown for another forty five seconds. Not the worst thing in the world here, as uh, we are gonna get a couple disconnects. Seems like uh, I don't know, just probably some. Internet issues here, it would appear. A couple, a little bit of lag, needing to just reconnect and refresh that little connection. But either way, the refreshers are all ready to go. The only uh, the only big utility that has been used is going to be that BKB of Krish, which is, you know, kind of a big item, right? Uh, speaking quite frankly for him. So it's, it's a little scary. Everything else is good to go. A cheese on Makoto. Yeah, but the, did they see him use the BKB? I wasn't sure I, if he... I cannot be sure. I heard Rubik laughs, um, but I don't know if that was just <laughs> you, the voice you, line. you heard Rubik laughs. I did, I did. I, you could check the VOD. You uh, check the VOD. I heard Rubik laugh, so maybe he typed LOL or something. But, I mean, obviously, probably not, right? Maybe it was just a voice line. I heard Rubik laugh for sure. For real, for real. Out of everything, you heard the Rubik laughs. Well, you know. You're always looking for a tip or something in moments like those, right? You know, your 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 embarrassing moments that you wake up in the middle of the night, kind of remembering. You know, you wake up in a cold sweat. Oh my God, I can't believe that game. I fat fingered BKB when we were just trying to defend the tier four towers, and then they just lifted me and I died. You know, stuff like that. Or, oh my God. You know the worst thing that game I did, three Omni uh, Knights. The worst thing I did was I swapped my slot, my blink, and my four stuff, and I, then I didn't know. I was trying to four stuff my teammate out of the team fight, and then I blinked in instead. That's bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I've definitely like, okay, so this isn't very smart, but I, I play with uh, WASD for my camera hotkeys, right? So that means one, two, three, four uh, are my, my spell hotkeys. Huh, FPS player. Yeah, but, but four, so four is my ulti and five is my courier, you know, hotkey to select my courier. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have accidentally ravaged or... I don't know, just just any any ulti you can cast without needing to, you know, just any ulti, right, like that. 
the hand of God. Uh, what else? I mean, it's Zeus. Both. Zeus ulti. Yeah, just just because I was trying to select my courier. Uh, and I've done that in late game scenarios, unfortunately. Yeah, then you know, your, t your teammate types question mark and you're like scouting, scouting yeah. rough. Scouting, scouting, vision, vision, baiting, baiting, right? Relax, you're doing fine, you know? Classic, uh, the classic Zeus one. Just trying to rack up. You know, one of my friends told me before, uh, when you were calibrating, it used to take an account into how much damage you did, so people would just pick Zeus. Yeah, it, well, it used to take into account how much healing you did, so people would just pick Oracle and then just spam uh, Purifying Flames. Good times. Just, yeah, good times. Good times. Anyway, that's how I gained a thousand MMR using one small trick. Uh, but I, I do want to point out there's a second uh, Wind Waker now. So CML has one and Tino has one. So even if you can't quite interrupt these uh, faceless void chronospheres, you can be really freaking annoying in them. But you can only move if, if it's your own Wind Waker. That's correct, but you can Yules anyone now, including your allies. Closing in on any major items, any major statuses here. Without buyback is Krish after his buyback earlier, so he's he's happy to burn a little bit more time here. Hold that. Hold the phone. Lion outside of the base. A little quick safari now for Bleed Esports as they will kill Shanks now. He's got buyback, so probably the bigger thing there is his Aeon Disc being put on that very long cooldown now. They just have to buy back here. Roche is going to be up in a minute. It could have respawned already as far as both teams know. There's no traps in either of the pits, so neither team knows anything right now. We'll see here if Bleed are going to try and force a buyback or if they're going to try and take just a pretty much uncontested and free Roshan as Nosferos. Blinks in, quick little silence, immediately receives a Hex. Careful here. We still have that Wind Waker. This is only the first Rolling Thunder, of which I assume we will have multiple, but that's the first Chrono of what could be two. Oh, the Nullifier pulls Tino back right, down immediately, but they want to get out of this fight. The damage, it is severely lacking, and now the Hex onto Makoto. He's going to get out, but the second Chrono this time catches two, and in fact, they're going to be onto Krish, who did activate the BKB, but he needs a save, and he doesn't have any. He's down for two minutes, doesn't have the dieback did not have the refraction charges ready to go and with Tino now being caught out with another nullifier he's not going to be able to go anywhere BKB active trying to do as much damage as he can but he's just surrounded and killed off here as it's basically a full team wipe only Bob manages to survive by TPing home Eric's are going to be blown wide open here as Masaros hit by the X mark he's just so so tanky Jackie hexed another time but even without the Aegis, he just had all the confidence to push up a three versus five scenario now. Lots of utility already used here. Koto consuming the cheese in that last fight is there. Goes the lift for fortification. That's the last stat now for Execration. No more buybacks here for them. And no more Bobby there for I mean, he's 200 gold short of his own buyback. Tino and CML being corralled back into their own fountain as the faceless Void and Masros now go back to focus onto the throne. CML just finds some space and time there with his own Wind Waker. They just doesn't seem anything they can do. Missing the tree there is Tino, and that ought to basically seal the deal here. Look at that damage from the Hurricane fight got from Paulus and DJ. Snipes the kill, and that'll be game one here for Bleed Esports. The GG is called the next Execration will go down in game one. Yeah, Execration are probably going to be kicking themselves, you know, how after they were controlling the mid middle portion of the game, and then uh, Bleed were able, they were able to steal, was it the second Roche or the third Roche? Can't remember which one. They were able to steal one of the Roches, and Use, utilize it to actually slowly turn the screws around because before that